start recording. Yay. Okay. Okay. You scared me. <laughs> I'm so afraid I'm going to be the only one. Hey, I printed out what you said. Let me go get it off the printer. Good. All righty. This is going to be survival class number four. Okay, so. So Baba. Number four. Oh, you can see that pretty good. Yeah. Okay. It's better than in the other room, I think, because I think the, yeah, the lights better. The lights are not as bright. Okay. Good. So yeah. I know. <laughs> We're gonna have fun or enjoy this time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <Not a football. laughs> so I realized that I didn't teach all of the, I didn't finish teaching all of the Nikud, you know, the vows last weekend, because there's a few others. Um, there's the Khataf Kamat, Khataf Bata, Khataf Sagol. So they're kind of more complex these ones and I'm going to show you how they look and I'm just using Aleph as my letter okay to show you under so it's going to be this one is Khataf Kamats do you see that Khataf Kamats yes okay and I'll bring it closer and then this one is going to be Similar, but without the T, it's just the line and then two dots. And that's Chataf Patach. Chataf Patach. And then line. Okay. one more. And that one is Chataf Sagor. And it looks like the grapevine with two dots. So it's basically each one of the different vowel sounds but with the two dots next to it and then and, and how does that change the sounds Laron? It, it doesn't really it's really similar to what we learned last week which was you have the kamats you have the patach you have the segol these are your main ones right this is uh you have tzere tzere is two dots uh, and let me just uh, put a division between them so you go, don't get confused. There you go. And then you have um, Chirik. Chirik is also, this T looks way bigger. It's not that big. It's like this, more like this. Chirik is just the dot underneath it. Um, and you have Kibbutz, ki, or yeah, Kibbutz kind of sounds like Kibbutz. Kibbutz. That three line, uh, three dots. And dot. The shuruk, which are the two dots, and um, and then the, just the dots like on the top of the sheen or on the okay um, yeah so you have all those okay so the so the line just the line is called what just the line which one just this one um, uh huh uh this one is called patach spell it Fay okay. So, oh, oh, thank God, it's Tony and Linda. <laughs> she was scared to be alone with me. Are you serious? <laughs> you didn't want to be on class by yourself? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, because you want her to ask me the pop quiz questions that I don't know. <laughs> I don't either. <laughs> Where is everybody? Well, Chris has a birthday party for Daniel, so her son it's this evening. So. That's how it looks like for Patah. P A. Okay, we, I'm just I'm kind of refreshing your memory about yeah. these. And also, uh, you know, I sent you a verse to read. Mm. Who tried reading the verse that I sent in the group? 
Yeah, I tried. <laughs> let's go. Let's go to our group text right now. We're, we're all going to the group text. We're going to the group text. <laughs> when did you send that? Oh, I sent it the same day. <laughs> yeah. And or the next day. The next day. Looks, okay. I'm just, I don't delete anything, so I got to. So this is what it looks like. My, okay, I'm not going to read it. You're going to have to read it. So what I couldn't understand Am I reading it in English? I'm translating the Hebrew words into English. No, no, you just have to know how to pronounce these. Uh, okay. You don't need to translate it. No, I didn't ask you to translate. I just want you to read, even if you don't know what you're saying. Okay, I'm not. Uh, can you give me the day you sent it? Yes. I, here, I'll hold it up to the screen and you can yeah. read it from my screen. So, Are you serious? <laughs> Linda, yeah. Linda, I'll, Linda, I'll send it to you. Thank okay. you. <laughs> I just don't, I don't see it. I just see the, um, the words of the week and then the little one that you sent after, but it didn't have all that. Okay. The first okay. line, I'm going to ask. Morgan, Morgan, no, ask her. Can you start <laughs> with the first word? Okay. No, but so the first word okay <laughs> so that is a that is a mem a yod and a sonic no no but close <laughs> it's, not, it's not a mem it's not a mem oh you know what i you know what i forgot to teach you okay one second uh oh let me go through <laughs> let me go through one more thing about the adif bit and then i'll ask you this okay Okay. Morgan, did you send that? I did. I sent it to signal to the class. Okay. I didn't get it. Yeah. Okay. Could be my lifeline. Okay. So why is that not a mem? One second. Let me explain. Okay. So I'm going to. So, no. What, how do I write? <laughs> oh, I'm going to call it. Oh, yo. Is that an hour? Otiot and then so B. So these are the ending letters. Oh, it's a it's okay. a so, okay. I'm gonna teach you put through the ending letters so you don't it's cutting off the top. Okay. There you go. Okay. Can you see this well? It's better than last week? Yes, yeah. much yeah. better. Okay. So, so what is that the what's after the yod? You were correct to think. Uh, by the way, Morgan, that this was a summit, uh -huh. but it's, in fact, it's a mem Sophie. A mem Sophie, exactly. Okay. So I'm going to write what this is mem uh, Sophie. Okay. In Hebrew, you would write it like this mem Sophie. Actually, the Sophie is up here, so you can just look at that each time, but it's mem. So, so the psalmic would just have a little bit more of a pointed base. It would have a little more of a rounded base. Like a pocket. Like this. Yeah, like a pocket almost. Yeah. yeah. And then the mem so feet. Oh, uh, okay. A little more. Jug like. Yes. yes. Okay. okay. I got you. So that's okay. your mem so feet. Then okay. you have noon so Okay. Noon. Oh yeah, that's a noon sofit, and then that's um. And that's how you write it, noon. Yeah, noon sofit with the sofit. This is your sofit up here. And so that's a bet, but it has the so with the dot, it's a bet without it's the. It's a dot. long. It's a long vav. Yeah. It looks like a long vav. It's longer than a normal. So this is a this is a vav right next to it. And this is the noon sofit, a lot longer. Do you see that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So your vibe would be in comparison like this next to it. Yeah. So it's double, it's double the length. Yeah. Okay. Noon sofit. Okay. I've got so that. Have noon sofit. Okay. And Men's then that's, noon is that, that's, that's a bet. Yes. A bet? Where? Isn't the next letter after the noon sofit a bet? 
No, you bet is just bet. Um, there's no there's no ending letter for bet. So you have mm -hmm. Mu Sophie, Mu and Sophie. Yeah. You, then you have Pay Sophie. Oh, you're still teaching about the Sophies. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, first let's go back to the ending letters here because I want to. I want to finish teaching. Chris, thank God you're on. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Hey. <laughs> so okay, so pace <laughs> will be like this. You would come from the inside and go to the outside. And I get long. It's a long letter, so it goes kind of. Yeah. So that's a pay Sophie. Pay Sophie. Sophie. Under the first note, so that what's that? Yeah. Under the first note, so that what's that? Yeah. The what? Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. So that's pay. That's pay Sophie. And that's how it looks like in a normal pay. Oh. Okay, so can I have ask a question? Yes. So these sophites, um, these are endings for words. Yes, you only okay. use them at the end of words. So the bigger symbols on the right hand side is that what's at the end, or the one underneath the word sophites? Does that make sense? Can you say that again? No. Okay, so. So the you one have, that's right beside it is the classic mem and the classic noon. And then she wrote the Sophie next to it. Yeah, the, Sophie. I just wrote how it's it, what you call it in Hebrew. Okay, so, so the ones under the word Sophie are. Oh, that's how you write it. Mem. Normally. Noon, okay. Fe, yeah. And then the okay. Sophie up here is Sophie. Because I don't okay. want to continue re rewriting that. It's I'm out of space. <laughs> so is, is the pay Sophie as long as the noon Sophie? Yes, it's a long letter. Okay, so when it says so Josh, a normal, a normal pay would be this size around next to it, and then you have yeah the pay Sophie would look. But the but the larger. noon Sophie but the noon Sophie is it as long as the noon Sophie? Yes, it's around the same. It's the same. Okay, way. okay, same size. Okay. Okay. okay, now we're gonna learn Sadik Sophie, which is the last Sadik for the words. Um, now, because just so you know, because when you're, it looks yeah. completely different when we're gonna go study when we're gonna learn uh, script, which I'm not gonna teach this class, but probably the next one. Tonight, we're just gonna concentrate on reading, okay? okay. And then I'm gonna finish it. What's old and new? What? What's old and new letters in, under the new Sophie? Under the names, what are the markings? markings? I, I'm not sure what you're trying to indicate there under the me, um, mem and the noon and the pay. We don't understand what the markings are underneath the words on the board. Underneath these? Yeah, the, this one. Well, that's, a, that's how you write no. mem in Hebrew. Mem. Oh. oh. <laughs> and this is right. how you write nun. This letter, but but you add this underneath the nun, so it would be mem sofit. It would be nun sofit. It would be. Wait. Okay. Yeah, they, they go after that letter. So just an example. Sophie. That's how you say these letters. Oh, there we go. Sophie. Oh. I still have Okay. Now we're gonna learn Sadik Sophie. So Sadik, this is Sadik, right? And this is how you would write it if you if it's at the end of a, a word. It kind of looks like a Y having a rest. Y, yeah, Sadik Sophie. And this is how you would write it. Sa, or this is how you would sound. It sounds Sadik Sophie. 
and you write sadik like this. Oh, sadik. Okay. That has a sasare, a zelen, yod, and what is? I can't see that very well. What is? The what? last one. The last one. Oof. Yeah. Oof. Oof. Sorry. And all of sorry, Sophie. Yes. Sorry. A dale, a yud, and a kaf. Oh, that's not a. That's not a kuf. Yeah, that's a kuf. Okay. Final kuf. No, kuf is kuf all the time. Kuf is kuf. Kuf, kuf is always kuf. looks like this. <laughs> there is no ending. Oh, kuf. Oh, kuf and kaf. I got kuf and kaf next. Step. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I think we're. I think that's it on ending letters. Is there a final? Is there a Sophie on Faye though? Pay? Pay? Yeah, this is pay. Pay. Okay. It's the same. Remember, Americans like to add their pay, Faye. It's just how you uh, sound that, that letter in a different way. It's the same letter though. It's pay. That's the letter. There is no letter Faye. It's just it, that it sounds like Faye if you put a dot or if you don't have a dot in it. It's like, it's almost like bet and vet. Yeah, it's okay. just a bet. That's the letter. Uh -huh. But then but if you put a dot in, it's then a it's bet. A bet. Yeah, okay. but you would, it's like, it doesn't have its own personality. Get it? It's like, it's still a bet, but it's, it's now going to change its identity as a bet. <laughs> or the sound at least changes. Oh, yes. Still that letter. Okay. So I don't know, because in Israel, we don't teach it the way they teach it here in America. And so I think people get confused about how many letters there are in, in the alphabet. And it's, it's the alphabet is really, you know, 22 know. letters. It's 22 yeah. letters. Yeah. yeah. So uh, so this is your tzaddik. OK. OK. So we have mem sofit, nun sofit, pe sofit, and tzaddik sofit. And so we only use these. Uh, the uh, one second. Uh, need a better marker. Let me get the blue one. We only use these on the end of a word, and we have to use these on the end of a word. Just so you know, if it ends on a noon, we have to use the ending noon. If it so, ends on a mem, it has to end on a mem sofit. Okay, so if it's Joshua son of noon, how would you write that? It would be a regular noon. Hmm. Just like that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Are you ready to read? Yes. <laughs> sure. She's ready. <laughs> okay. I'm excited. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I asked Morgan to, to. So, can you do that again, Morgan? We're really close. So, it's a mem yod final mem yep and so how would you and you have the vowels remember so i'm, I'm spelling it out for you in big this is how it looks wait that was the stuff you sent out the verse yeah did yes, you ever get it's the it? verse i sent out okay no i didn't sorry my phone it must be whacked up so I'm, I'm showing you it here though. That way you can see it on my screen on the screen. Oh, okay. So what, I just so Morgan, what's the first? How do you say this? So it would be ma. Yes. Ma. And then the yod would have the dot underneath it, and that sound is just the one dot. So you said ma, so I'll, I'll start that. And so the yod would have an eh sound. Eh. No, what sound is this? Not an eh. E, the e, eh, eh. It's an e sound. E, e. No, it's an i sound. E, e, e. Okay. e. Yod has an e sound. Okay. So I how would that sound like? 
Me. Can uh one second. Let me silent because I can't really hear her clearly. I'm sorry. No, I'm muting you. Okay. There you go. Say it again. Meme. Close. My name. Chris, no, I didn't ask you. But yes, you were correct. My name. So it would be ye because it's uh it's a the yud, but oh, with the yeah. e sound. So it would be ye. E. Ma. E. E. Like ye. E. Uh huh. And then. Uh -huh. What and then it ends on a mem, Sophie. So what would that be? My e m. -m. Yeah, m. Yes. M. So that's just an m. So you say ma e m. -m. Do you know what mime is? Yeah, like a like. Are you talking about the English word mime? Yeah. What I'm, is mime in English? Do you know? Just if you know, I'm not. You don't have to know it. Well, mime. You in might know it. It's in some of our songs. My, 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 this is sun, my, 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 shut their mind. This is okay. Mime is water. <laughs> I'm going for water. Mime is water in English. Okay. So that's how you say it. Mime. Very good. Okay. I'm moving on to the next. And because Chris, you were so excited to do this or whoever is in you, with you on the other side was so excited. <laughs> Can you tell me what the next word sounds like? And I'm writing it out on the board so you can see it here. And let me uh, put the vowels in. Linda, and nobody, else, you... nobody else can help, just Did Chris. You... <laughs> Uh, I'm getting chastised. <laughs> no, this is uh, this is encouragement. <laughs> you were doing okay. so well. I want to help. <laughs> Morgan, I did get it. Thank you. Okay. 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 Chris. I. Wait. Let me start. E. Yo. Rakia. What's this? Bet. What's uh, this? Uh, uh, Rabim. Yes, Rabim. Very good. Rabim. Okay, Rabim. And Are you this, that off the printer for me. This means a lot, many, many. So this is. So what we had before was water, many, and remember in in Hebrew. You wouldn't say the uh, the way in, you would say it in English. You wouldn't. So I'm giving you clues to what scripture this is. Okay. So we have water and we have many. Rabim. Okay. We all got that? Yes. Now. Okay, let's move on. Okay. Okay. Now. Now, uh, I just want, I only want, let me unmute you, Linda. I only want Linda to say this next one. And this should be really easy. Because I, I taught you, I said, I gave you this, how to say this word of, uh, earlier this week. Let's see. Uh, I don't know this. That is the, is it the study? No. No. Um, this is study. It's a llama. Um, oh, oh, mem. No. It, okay, That's not mem. Let me do it a little more. It's not lamed. It is. Lamed. Oh, because that's yeah. my favorite one besides. Yeah, it should be. It's my name. <laughs> oh, it's your <laughs> name too. <laughs> okay. So, so Lamed, and then what's this one? Alice. Good. So, what's right here on top of here? 
What vowel is that? Remember? Uh, I did not understand. Let me look. Let me look. I didn't understand. I printed it out. Okay. So, do we have other volunteers that we know that can help Linda? Is it I? No, it's it's a uh, okay. Uh, Laura. 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 No. 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 Yeah. That's correct. Okay. No. And law means no. <laughs> oh, gotcha. Gotcha. No. Law is no. So that wasn't the words that I gave, but that's okay. I forgive you. But five oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, Thank you. Okay. Next, so what what do we have so far? We have mine, we have many, and we have no. Okay? Not many waters. <laughs> One second. One moment. No skipping. Current, you know, we have to do the whole thing. Okay. Back to you, Morgan. Oh, it's going to be more challenging. Yeah. Oh. Okay. All right. You have a, a yo. <laughs> A yod, um, what is that noise? Yeah. Uh, uh, am I not muted? Hold uh, on. Oh, I can mute. Okay, great. Thank you. Okay. So, so yod. Uh -huh. Yeah, yod. Yod. Um, is that a final noon? No, you can't no. put a final noon in the middle of a word. Middle of a word, you're right. Okay. Only has so to that's be a a bob. Yep. Bob. Um, that's a coof. No, no. Ah. It makes Thanks. similar sounds, but it's not a coof. It is a cough. Yes. Cough. Sadik. No. Um, sorry, Lamed. Yeah. And then a tav. No. Look at the board, because it looks just like the one that was next to it. Bob, I'm sorry, Bob. Good. Yeah, it sounds similar. Yeah. Okay. So what 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 <laughs> vowel sound is this? Do you remember? When it makes it in the center of it, um, like me punching someone in the stomach. Ooh. 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 Okay. So now ooh. that you know, ooh, ooh. what does this say? Ibu. E no. <laughs> You you'd so it has to be the Y sound. So okay. Ibu. You. Who? Wow. <laughs> I, I just no. So what would this yes. because this is a calf, but it has no dot dot in the middle, what sound would it make? Because it has no dot in the middle. It makes a oh. cake sound, doesn't it? A <laughs> cake <laughs> <laughs> sound, you're correct. <laughs> Sounds like kh, <laughs> kh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, you know yud, vav, what does this sound make? <laughs> I don't know. Ooh. Yo, so yo. Yo, right? Yo, yeah. yo, 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 So you say yo, 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 Okay, and um, so I have a question. With uh, yes. when you have to do that with your throat, is there a marking or something that do you just need to know how to say it with the alphabet, or yeah. is there a marking Look, that says? If it had this here, if it had a yeah. dot inside, you would know that it's a yuk lu. 
but it's that there's no yuklu in Hebrew. So okay. Yuklu. It has no dot in the middle. So you would know that it's a ch sound. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. I think I need to dry it out. <laughs> yeah, dry it out. If it helps you to dry it out. So okay, so yuklu in English. I don't want to give you the, I wanted to give you the exact, uh, it, it means we'll be able to, okay? It's all of that in one word. Yuchlu means we'll be able to. You thought English was easy, but Hebrew is easier because technically we have one word to describe that whole thing. <laughs> so we'll be able to, oh, let me write this. Okay. Yeah. And water many, no, and you won't be able to. You will be able to water many people. No, you won't. No, we'll not be able to water. <laughs> no, because you have a no. <laughs> so we'll be able to. You will not be able to. <laughs> you flew. So we have water, right? We have water. We I have mean, no. Um, we have many. We have water. We have many. We have no. And we have, we'll be able to. And then this one is hard, so I'm going to help you on this. Oh, let's give it to Emma. What? Emma? Okay, let's go for it. Okay. I love challenging people, as you can see. So. <laughs> okay, oh, sorry. You didn't hear that. But I, I gave you a starting point. Okay, what does that say? Oh, my. Let's start out with the letters. What's this? La meta? Yeah. Is that noon or kuf? It's neither. Remember, kuf? kuf looks like this. Oh, so it's kof. So this one is not kuf. What is it? Ka. 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 Is it ka? Ka? Yeah. Oh. It's, it's ka. 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 So ka. Lamed ka. Ka. Bet. 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 Uh, Ha? Yes. Great. Lamed kaf bet vav ta. Okay? So what would lamed sound like if it has these two dots underneath it? Uh, le? Yes. And then what does this kaf sound like if it doesn't have a dot in the middle? Ka? Le? Mm -mm. The ka. ka? Yeah? Yeah? Ka? But this bet, this bet has a dot in the middle. So it's a bet. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yes. And then. Yes. So, lechabot. Lechabot. Yay! Yes. We have a winner. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> so, lechabot. Quench. Are you starting to get the verse here? Cannot quench. Cannot quench. Yes. All right, because what I want, why I'm doing this is so I'm challenging you because I want you to start reading in Hebrew. So, <laughs> do you understand <laughs> so even if you don't know what you're saying i just want you to start reading it because if you can start reading it then you know the letters you know the vowels and then you can start understanding the words it's, it will help it will in my opinion it helps to know how to read before you understand because then you can practice so uh is to extinguish, to put out a fire, 
So lechabot is like you're coming to to take out a fire or to like yeah extinguish basically. Many waters cannot quench. That's from yes, Song of Solomon. Yep, exactly. In Song of Solomon. English. Okay, that's the that's the word. Those are very complicated words, by the way. I didn't even. So I'm very I'm very happy that you did that. Well done. Can you um which chapter and verse is that? That song of songs, and it's uh three five, I think, or three fifteen. Yeah, I think three five. Many many waters cannot quench. quench. Um, my love for you or something like that that's cool yeah so cool okay let's okay that was the the hill is uh we're we're how do you call it we're over the hill so <laughs> we're over the hard part okay now this one is very easy okay i'm gonna if if you don't feel as confident i think um who wants to do an easy one me? <laughs> no, you need a harder ones because you're really good at this. So I'm gonna <laughs> give and and I don't mean that bad. I just mean I mean it's good to practice even with the small things. So um I, I think I want um Linda, you wanna do it? Yeah, I'll try. Okay. I believe in you. <laughs> okay. What's this one? Okay, Aleph. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not sure what the dot. Uh, okay, forget it. Forget about the dots. What's the forget about one? the dots? Okay, and then the other one is um, tough. Tough. Is that tough? Mm -hmm. It's the last letter of the alphabet. Okay, yeah. so. If this is an alif and this this uh, vowel sound underneath is is an e sound. E. Yeah. Okay. So what would the word be? A tov. No, there's nothing after the ta. Of. It's simple. Of. Eh. Close. What's that last sound? I don't know what the sound is. Ev? Is it V? T. T. Et. Yes. Oh. There you go. <laughs> and then <laughs> the. A. The. The. Yeah. Oh. oh. Okay. 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 Gotcha. Hey. Mine. Rabim lo yochlu lechabot e. That's how far we are. That's really good. I'm really happy about that. Mm -hmm. okay. What? What did you say? I'm not. <laughs> I need a work. I need a. I need a workbook. Okay. I just need uh, repetition. I can, I can recommend workbooks. I need a workbook. Yeah. Okay. I can recommend because. These are my notes, and I mean, I just really need it and to wear organized. So yeah. I'll I'll send you a link to uh, workbooks. If so you that we can order, yourself, then you can you can practice. That'd be awesome. And would they would they cover what you've covered so far? You can just go into it and learn uh, what you can, and then okay. I'll progress with you. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So. Uh, da, 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 uh, it and then this one is probably one of my favorites and it's not too hard it's just a longer word but it might be complicated we'll see so morgan i want to challenge you. Oh, great great yeah <laughs> <laughs> great wonderful <laughs> you don't sound so excited you know i'm such a linear learner and so i'm struggling that's okay, but that's okay. we we learn by doing, so that's okay. We're doing it together. Okay. So first, we'll just mention the letters we see, and then we'll 
because I think that helps to do that. Okay. So what's the first letter? It's a hey. Mm -hmm. Aleph. Um, a hey. And you write that different than I do. Is that, um, let's see. It's the second letter of the Arabic. Yeah, it's the bet. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And a hey. Okay. So you have. So the comet, that's a comet. And so it's an ah sound. Yes. So how mm -hmm. would that sound with a hey? Nah, nah, no, hey, ha. And that's a patak. Same noise, same sound. So, um, hey, ah, ha, <laughs> ha, ha. Yeah. Ha, ha. Yeah. Ha, 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 ha. And then that's a bet with a. Ha. But first, remember, you have this. So, this is a ha. Ha. So, ah, ha, ah, ha. Ha. Ba. 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 Yes. You ba. said it. Ba. Ha, ah, ha, va. Ah, ha, va. Yes. Ba. So, if it's just this, if it's just from Aleph all the way here, it would be ah, ha, va. Uh -huh. But because there is a ha a ha 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 if it had a dot in it, it would be ha a ha ba. Okay, so it's the the dot makes it a b is in boy without yes. it. It's b is in Victor. Yes. Okay, gotcha. So that's a ha a ha ba. Ha -ha -ha -ba. That means it means my father or our father or a ha ba is love. My love. A ha ba yes. is love. Love. So it's the ha ha makes it the love. The love. Okay. Yeah. Oh, so yeah, the ha a ha e ha a ha va. So the yeah, ha a ha va. So the love. It's kind of interesting because it has et and ha. So et ha is the love together. But you can also say, okay, so let me give you the one second. I think I it's the oh oops you what no that's not the correct translation one moment yeah it would be the in this situation but also ha, ha is also the so um okay this is a good example it marks the definite the definite direct object of a sentence so she saw the car approaching it would be he rata et ha rechev rechev is car so if it has a ha and a et right before it it it's the love. But even if I didn't have it, ha ahava is the love. So it's still the. Does that make sense? I know this is a little confusing, but the and the. Is H A ha mean the? Yeah. No. No, just the hey. Just the hey with the A sound on it. Ha. Ha. Just the, the A, yeah, the ha sound. Just oh, that H. Ha. Ha. And so, okay. I, but then you have this word, which is love. So these two words come together when you just add the ha in the beginning and it becomes the love instead of just love. So when okay. you're doing car, you just have to add that and it makes the car. Yeah, so this is Rechev, 
that's how you write car. And then if I add a hey here, it would be the car. Ha oh. Get it? Okay. So it's also the. It, it, it also stands for the. You wouldn't be able to say et rechev because that just wouldn't be grammatically correct. So you kind of would have to have it, it with plus the hey to make the. You would have to have it accompanied by this, by the hey, to make the. But if it was just ha, you can also have just the. What I'm trying to say is, you can't say et ahava. It wouldn't be grammatically correct. You'd have to say et ha ahava. Oh, so it's almost like it identifies what the the is pointing to. Yeah, so you kind of have to okay. be, this would kind of have to be with the hey. Okay. At the beginning of a word. But the hey in itself, if it's just hey in the beginning of the word, it can be identified as ha, as the. The thing is, you would have to, what they're trying to do in this verse, is trying to connect the word that was before it to the word after it, which is ahava. So it's trying to connect these two together. That's why we need the it. Because grammatically, we would need it. So let's say, let me delete all of this because I need all of it. So the camel would have et hagamal. So if, if there's a word before it, because we need to connect a different word to the camel. So it would have to be, let's say I would use, I'll use your example. Um, Ooh, okay. Okay, here's a, here's one. Who misa lirkav al no? Wait, let me see. Who nisa le who nisa et hagamal? He tried to feed the camel. Okay, so who nisa? So he tried to feed the camel, right? Let me remember that. Feed the camel. So in Hebrew, it would be who? Who? Okay, sorry. Who? Nisa? Lehachil? Oh, you know why? I think it's because it's an adjective. So, lahachil et, sorry, lahachil et hagamal. Sorry for the, there's a lot of words here. So, let me, let me erase this and then, okay. So, we're just concentrating right now on. And let me let me delete this too, so we can see it better. Okay, so can you see this? And let me cancel this out. Delete, delete. Okay, he tried to feed the camel. So who? He, who? Nisa tried lehachil to feed. So it's to feed lehachil. Two would be the le in the beginning of the word, kind of like the hey in the beginning of the word. Le is to. Ha'achil. Le ha'achil, to feed. The, so et, ha. So again, you have the et, ha. So because we had an adjective here to feed, because that's an adjective, you need the camel. But to feed is a verb, isn't it? Feed is oh, a verb. Sorry, verb. Sorry. Verb. So this is your verb here. Right? 
feed l'achil, and then the camel. You would have to have the after the verb. Do you understand? Yeah, can you uh, make it darker? The, the one, two, three, third word that the, the word verb is pointing to? I see a Lamad. This one? Lamed. Yeah. Yeah, I just can't see the other one. Uh, 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 it's a little cramped, so that's why you can't see it. Let me write it again. Le, ha, uh, you see it now? Yeah, let me just write it. So that's why you have the it, ha, it, ha. So you need both of these to so get the, et ha, the mud, your camel. So just it, and ha, in the beginning of the word. So this plus this would be your the. Lauren, in the verse that we're working on? Oh. Yeah, we were just giving an example, an example of why we would use this in what situation yeah. that would come in. Okay. Because this is a verb. And then you have your oh. subject here. And in the verse that we're working on, quench does precede the et. And yeah, so exactly. Is... So because quench comes before the et, S is comp accompanying extinguish to love. So yes. the love. It has to be uh, many waters cannot extinguish the, the love. Or yes, yes, that makes sense. Okay. I know it. So are we okay? Can we move on? Hold on just a minute. Okay, no worries. Okay. Let me know if you're all ready to move on to the next. Yeah. Say Ken, Ken, if you are ready. Ken, Ken. Good. You know what, hold Ken? On, is? Is, hold on, hold on. Ken is yes. <laughs> okay. Wait, wait. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm waiting. Third. So, uh, remember, you can always rewatch it. Um, oh yeah, you're right. So you're right. <laughs> you can always go back. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna move on to the next word. Okay. Um, and we'll we'll do this one together. I'm not gonna let anybody just do it alone. So we'll, we'll go through this one together. So this one is. Is this a vav? Yep. A, um, a noon. Thank you. Hey. Dalit. Nope, not Dalit. Uh, Resh. Yep. Um, uh, vav. Yep. Tav. Good. So I'm going to put the dots here to help. This is the second one. Good. OK, so we have Vav, Nun, He, Resh, Vav, Ta. So remind me again what this sound makes when I put a, a, a dot in the middle of a vowel. Ooh, 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 ooh. And now what, what does this sound make when I come to the moon? Knee. knee. What is it? Knee. Nay. Nay. Yeah, if it was if it was just one dot, it would be knee. But it's okay. ne. 
Ne. Yep, ne. Or, re. Mm -mm. Rash. No, this um, is uh, before the resh. Before the resh. So another set of comments. Ah. Uh, but what letter is that? That is a hey. Okay. Ha. Uh, yeah, ha. Ha. Uh, so, u, ne, uh, ha. Ha. Uh, ro, re. But, okay, so you have resh and then you have a vav right after it. And this vav has one a dot right above it. So what, what sound would that make? Ro. Yes. Good job, Chris. <laughs> and then because it has a taf at the end, it would have to end on a? Rose. Two. Rose. Yes. So what is it all together? What do you say it together? Unea rose. Yes. Hallelujah. <laughs> so, u, u, wait, u, let's see, maybe u is better, u, neha, u, or, or u, so, u. Can you put dots off by a number, like on top or in the middle or under? Does that make the letter sound as the dots are, or does it? Yes, make? it's like, it's like vowels. So it makes it sound different. So if I had a underneath this, well, let's see, underneath the top, it would be uneharoti because it has a little dot underneath it, but it's not that. So it's uneharot. So u ne ha rot. That's how it look. That's how it sounds like. Uneharot. So this is a um. Uh, Nahar is river. So many rivers. Okay, rivers. It's basically the plural of rivers. And this vav. So if if this vav wasn't here. It would just be neharot, which is rivers. But the vav before it resembles um, u neharot and the. Okay? So u in this case represents and the rivers. So this, just the u. I'm going to split this into two. So you have your rivers on this side of the word. And then on this side, you have oo. Oops. Wait, oo. So this would mean and, and, and rivers. So just and. So this would be and. So the vav, the vav is like a connector that can mean and. Yes. And so how we vav in the is a connector there. Yes, vav is a connector. Correct. Mm -hmm. Let me split this into two. So you see that. And rivers. And so would that be the same um, for other nouns as well? Yeah. Um, okay. Yes. Yeah. We would okay. use that. So, u, u, uh, oh, well, you had the one before that. So, you, uh, no, we didn't have that before. Forget about it. U neharot, so you can say, and u yeladim, and children, or u, yeah, it's usually for plural, because I can't really think of. No, you can do, you can say non-plural words with it too, okay. but it represents and. That's the most important thing that you know. Okay. So this means and rivers, okay? And rivers. U <laughs> neharot. 
Unehoro. Yep, Unehoro. So, and rivers. So, what do we have? We have water, maim, many, rabim, lo, no, yochlu, will be able to, <laughs> lechabot, extinguish, et, the, the. Et ha, et ha, ahava, the love, and rivers. What's the word after it? Because that's it's the same word no, we said earlier. No, no, Ro. no, no. And then the last one we're gonna do together, because <laughs> that's a, a long one too. Oh, Emma wants to do it. Okay, yeah, let's do it. Uh, let me write it out. So you have. Emma, can you spell it? Uh, yod. Yes. Is that sheen or is sheen? Yeah, it's a sheen. A sheen. Have. A tet. Tet. Yes, te. Pepe. Eh. No, oh. this one before ba. Yeah, that's pe. Yeah, pe. Uh, vav. Yes. Pe. Yep. Okay, so what vowel sound is this? We had it earlier. E. Right, with a yud, it would be. Because remember, the yud makes a y sound. Ye she. Ye. Ye she. Yes. Ye she te. Po. Because oh. this, I punched this vav in the stomach. Oh. Oh. Yes. Say it together. Ye she ta poha. Really close. Ye, so because yish, so yish te poha. Because this is a more of a silent e. Eh. It's a yish te poha. This one actually doesn't really. I don't even know why they put that underneath it, but it's yishtefuha. Yishtefuha. Really good. So um, this is how you would pronounce it, just so you can see it written out. Yish. Te. I'm just breaking it up so it's easier for you to see. Fu ha. Okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And means so uh or shata this uh these letters, these three letters, shin tet pe compile the word uh rinse. So many waters cannot uh quench. <laughs> The love and rivers cannot quench her, right? Quench it, it. Sorry. So each is uh, uh, to rinse it out. To to uh, let me Wash give you the, the exact the exact. So each tefuha Oops. Good job, though. Uh, Bangli, uh, sorry, Ish de Fuha. Why is it doing this? It, it gave me the scripture there. Okay, so we'll wash, to wash away, wash over, uh, basically washing. It cannot wash, right? So yishtefuha means to wash, wash. Yeah, basically wash it. 
but specifically here, uha is referring to the love that was referred to before. So it cannot wash her out. And in this, in this in instance, ahava, love, is feminine. Okay? So are you saying that you can't, the love cannot wash it away? Yes. Okay. Oh, okay. It can, no, many waters cannot, right? Because what's the scripture? Cannot it's, quench it or sweep it away. Right, so, okay. Where's the scripture? My, okay. Many okay. waters cannot quench love. Neither can the floods drown it. Okay. Yeah. That's basically yeah. what we're focusing so it cannot rinse it out. It cannot wash it away. Yishtefuha. So uh, I would say wash it away. Is the ah? This one doesn't work now. <laughs> okay. There we go. And that was from Shir Hashirim, Song of Songs. So, and this was also one of your words, so you should know this. Can I, can I, well, you know what? I can just write it in a different area. So, Shir Hashirim. Okay, we're gonna go here. Oh, sorry. Wrong way there. Okay. Shin for shin. Yeah, shin. Oh, really, you don't need it underneath. You already have it here. So then, ha. Shin. Good. Fresh. And it's Final, final men, yeah. Yep. So, shield. And it was in your words. Do you remember? I just said it. Is it sheer? Yeah, shield. What does it mean in English? Song. Yep, song. So, song of songs. And this ha would represent of the song, like the songs. So song of the, or song, the songs. <laughs> but in, in English, we would say song of songs, right? So shir hashirim, song of songs. That's how you would. Shalim, shalim. This leish is just like this one. So it's the R sound, leish. So, so would shall be just plain song? Shall? Yeah. So, no. Shall would be song. Share. Yeah. Shall, shall uh, would be, is shall an adjective? To sing. Shall. Who shall? So I would say he sang. So who shall would be he sang. Who shall? Who shall? If, if, you, if, if it would be just Shane and Leish, it would be shall. So it's shir, ha. And then what's the last word of it? Shall, shir, okay. Shir, shir, shir. How do you say it out, the whole thing? Shir, ha. Shir, ha, shirin. Ha, shirin. Hashirin, yeah. Song of songs. How would be of, I guess, in this instance? But really, it's the in Hebrew. So our grammar is a little different than yours. Okay. I think we're done for today because we kind of learned, we covered reading, which for the first time. So that was really good. <laughs> But that's, that's basically how you read, okay? What I want you to do, and I'm going to send you another Bible verse this week, 
I want you to try and separate the letters. So you just look at the text. I'll give you one line. You look at each word in your text. You separate each word to letters and you say, okay, this letter is this sound. And then that letter is this sound. And then you kind of look at the vowels underneath it and you start, oh, this one's an A. So, he, he. so then you start pronouncing each letter, but with the vowel, okay? So first okay. split it, first split the word into letters, just saying the letters out. You chin, tet, pe, va, he. Then you look at the letter with the vowel and you start saying, because you feel like so is the letter name is Which the letter's one? name uh, is the letter's name the same sound as the letter uh, as the letter when it's making it sound what? yes the letter but also remember you have your sheen and it has to have this dot to the right above it to be the sh sound. But if it was on the other side, it would be yistefuha. It would be s, the samich sound, s, right? Or this, pe, if it would have a dot inside, it would be, uh, no, sorry. If it would be the dot inside, it would be pe, the pe sound. But because it doesn't have a dot in this instance, it's a F sound. What about mm -hmm. Alex? Yeah, so that one might be a little more complex to remember, but try try going back in, in the notes because I did teach you, I did teach you, uh, you know, how to pronounce it correctly with the dots. So do just you, try. Do you have a worksheet, a complete worksheet with the vowels? um only the ones that i sent it to you no. oh, yeah. oh not a worksheet no but i'm gonna i'm gonna send you a link to books or uh, workbooks that you can order online and then you can you can practice with those workbooks if you prefer that i i think if it if we just if i just repeatedly had an alef with the different nakuds i yes. think I, I could get it it's okay. just learning so, the different Sounds so, so what I recommend, if that's what you think will help you, literally take each letter of the alif bet, write it out to as many vowels as you need, the a, e, i, o, u, all the vowels we learned, and then write the nikud under each one of them. Can you do it? I think if that if you say that's going to help you, then do that. Take your audio. So, yeah, but but I don't know, I don't know if I trust my notes <laughs> for the sound. Just, tr just trust it because I, <clears throat> the I already <throat> sent you the Alif bet. Do you want me to send it to you again? No, I have. I mean, I have the Alif bet, and okay. I even, I even printed out all these things that you sent, but they're yes. in Hebrew. They're in Hebrew. Right. You know, right. So I need I need some English to help me understand what I'm trying to learn. Okay. okay. So uh, awesome. Morgan. Yeah. yeah. Are you are you basically saying that like when we learn the letters in English, we say bat, uh, sat, cat, things like that, but it would be bat, bar, bam. You're looking yeah. at the ending. I'm just, I'm just trying to get the vowel no. sound yes. of so each is, of the, of the Nikus. Okay, Me too. Let's hear it with, okay. So you have these alifs. This is what I want you to do. Alif is your first letter. Just start with the first letter. Don't overwhelm yourself. <laughs> and then take your uh, Nikud stage. This one is the easiest one because it has your ABCs in English, okay? And then we're just gonna do this, tamas. So that's underneath this one, okay, the other. That's the ah sound, ah, ah, okay? Then we want the e sound, so we're gonna do e, okay? Then we want the e sound, so we're just gonna put e. Then we want, 
Um, let's see. Then we want the oh sound. So we're just gonna put a dot there, and so on and so forth. So this one is ooh. So you're just gonna do the ooh sound. So we can't see that side of the board, babe. Oh yeah, I'll move it. <laughs> Okay. Okay. And yeah. Just do that with each with each letter. So then you go on to the next letter and you say ba with a bit, right? So you have ba, and then you have be, and then you have b, and bo, and bu. Okay. Just do that with each letter. Okay. And maybe you can even. If you have a whiteboard, I don't know if you do, but if, if you do, you yeah, can you do, do it like this. Yeah. So you can, okay. Yeah. So just that's the, if that helps you remember how to do that, then then do that. Because I want you to to be able to remember in whatever way is easier for you. But I will I will send you the book if you want it. Yeah, I'll send I will link to it. Yeah, I need it. Okay. Okay. Awesome. 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 Yeah. Okay. Yay. Oh, I didn't even start this class with a prayer, but I'll end it with a prayer. Thank you, God, for this class. Thank you, God, that whatever we were uh, learning tonight will be set in our minds, that it will not disappear. I pray, God, that the, the memory muscle in our brains tonight will just work supernaturally that all of this fresh information that we just learned on how to read will just be installed into our minds and that it will be so easy to look at letters in Hebrew and to be able to pronounce them in their vowels and the way they sound and do it correctly. And God, I just pray that you, your Holy Spirit is gonna help them and advance them in learning Hebrew. God, I pray that nothing is impossible for you, God, and you will help those who ask for wisdom, those who ask for you to help them. So I ask you, Lord, to help, help each and every one of us tonight in this class and help us remember what we learned tonight, God, and to excel in, in learning and to excel in the memory uh, of our brain and, um, and just accomplish what you have set out for each of us to do. In Yeshua HaMashiach's mighty name. Amen. Amen. Hey, hey Laurent. Yes. Um, could I ask you to also pray for a friend of ours? His name is Ed Fackler. He is in surgery right, right now. He passed out while he was working out. He has an um, abdominal aortic aneurysm, and it's already one of his kidneys. And he's, um, it's very, very serious. Is, yeah, let's yeah. just pray. In Yeshua's name, we thank you, God. What's his name again? Ed. Ed. We thank you for Ed, God. We just lift him up to you, God, right now in the spirit, Lord. We thank you, God, that you have purposes to accomplish in this man's life, God. I pray right now for each uh, each uh, ligament, each each blood vessel in his body to come into obedience uh, of your voice, Holy Spirit. And I pray that you speak to his body, Holy Spirit, right now. You speak to his body to come into order, to come into your shalom, into the peace of God right now, to come into mm -hmm. order and to be doing eat the job that it's meant to be doing. I pray for full healing right now, Lauren. Abba, heal him fully right now. We speak to your body Ed, to be healed in Yeshua's name. And I pray that any demon that's attacking him will flee in the name of Yeshua yeah. right yes. now. Yes. In the name of Yeshua, thank you, God. Amen. Thank you, God. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you, Thank you. Laurent. Thank Laurent, you. It says, through the flight to the hospital. And what else did it say? I just you got a message. Let me tell you what it says. What did it say, Emma? Oh, okay. Hold on now. You made it through the flight. It's 
His wife says that he made it through the flight and surgery has started and they said he is doing as well as can be expected. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Yes. He's going to come through. Amen. Amen. Well, I wow. thank you all. And if you have any questions, please don't, you know, don't uh, hesitate to send me a message. You can always reach out on the group. I think if, even if you ask questions on the group, it helps others learn. So if you have any questions, ask on the group and then I'll answer in the group. And I think others can uh, benefit from that. So um, that's it for now. I know that was a lot to cover how to read. Hebrew, but that's a big step. And even if you don't know, like I said, even if you don't know what the words mean, trust me, I'm giving you scriptures. It's not bad. <laughs> what you're reading is good. It's not bad. <laughs> so yeah. it's, it's going to give you life. So it's, it's going to help you. That's cool. Yeah. Thank you. So Thank you, LeBron. All righty. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. reading. Yes, what? So reading sort of connects with talking. Like after you get down to read, it's easier to learn how to talk Hebrew. Yes, it does. Because you'll be, you'll be able to also understand how a sentence is compiled and what the grammar is in Hebrew. Much more. The more you read, just like in English, the more you read, the better you speak. So reading, speaking comes together. But really reading is okay. going to help you. And, uh, and if you have questions of what words you're reading, you can always ask me. I mean, I'm, it's not illegal. Let's just say that. Okay. It's hate to be illegal. <laughs> it's not illegal. <laughs> There's freedom of speech. I think that's the First Amendment, right? Oh, there we go. I like that. There go. <laughs> Thanks, I know, sorry. <laughs> okay. There you go. Safe right. travels if you're all. going home. Good night. Have a good night. Bye.